All right, Bobby. Bobby, uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Um, well, I was born in uh, East Los Angeles, um, White Memorial. And um, then from there, we, we, uh, we moved out to Almani, California for about the first, maybe I say three years of my life. Um, and then we kind of wrote, you know, gravitated towards uh, the city of Pomona. Yeah. So, and I've been so, there since. So you grew up in the eastern suburbs of LA? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much down, down that way. What, uh, what was your family like? Family was actually, I mean, it was, it was great. I, you know, mom, dad was there. Um, I got uh, two brothers and a sister and uh, we, we've been pretty close for the most part. You know, uh, was, never went through any, uh, you know, mom and dad fighting, anything like that. Um, it's, it's pretty good. You went through high school? Yeah, I went, I, I did high school. Um, you know, obviously, I, well, you know, I got incarcerated pretty young, but um, yeah, I did, I did, I was a straight A student, mm. you know, uh, baseball program, you know, all through high school, junior high. So you started with the uh, jail or prison? What, what? I started, well, I started uh, obviously, you know, uh, uh, juvenile hall, then YA, then, right. you know, county jail prison, but I started pretty young, 13, yeah. I wanna say. I caught my first, uh, my first, you know, trip to uh, to LP right here. Now. So, so the gangs are are strong in Pomona as well. Oh yeah, yeah, they're pretty. Uh, they, they go back a long time. You know. This is a Mexican gang. Yeah, it, well, it's 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 the city's it, It's pretty much a black and Hispanic. So we have, it's pretty, you know, down the middle. Um, we got uh, a lot of Hispanic gangs, a lot of uh, and a lot of black gangs. That's pretty much it, but um, yeah. but it's real. It's real heavy down there. It really yeah. is. When you when you were a kid, did you feel like you had options for you, or was it just? Oh, absolutely. Like I said, I was I was I was always uh, um, I was always good at I was good at school. Um, I had something to do after school, you know. So I was always uh, I always kept myself busy. And then if I wasn't at school, if I wasn't at, at practice or anything like that, I was always following my dad around. Uh, because he used to work multiple jobs. So I was down here in LA with him working. I, he would travel and I would go with him, you know, following him along. But I had options, you know. I just chose the path I chose because, I mean, in all honesty, I, I liked it. I gravitated to it, you know. Uh, it caught my interest, you mm -hmm. know. And, and um, you know, I know a lot of people say that, uh, you know, they, they do it because they, they, they had a, they come from a broken home or, or, or um, that's a common story. Yeah, that's usually what you hear, you know, and or or uh, or the drugs or or something like that. But for me, it was just really the I seen a spotlight and I ran straight for it. Anybody explain to you that it might oh, yeah, it might, might mean a lot of time in prison or, or death or yeah, something? Like that? No, absolutely. Uh, uh, I mean, everyone, any real gang member will get that talk before joining uh, 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 any neighborhood, you know. And if they don't get the talk, then, then there's a problem there, you know? But usually it goes, you know, you, you know what you're doing, you know? Uh, there's, 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 this is only gonna end very few ways. It's either gonna be jail, the ground, or, you know, uh, I mean, those, those are pretty much your two That's options, it. you know? <laughs> those, <laughs> I mean, those are the only honestly, two I've heard. Yeah, very few actually make it, uh, you know? To old to see their their old age, you know, mm -hmm. and um, those are the lucky ones. But you 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 proceeded anyway. I still went to yeah. I, I, I like I said I, I I gravitated towards. I liked it. I seen the, you know, for me it wasn't the you know, pe people do it for the wrong reasons. I think you know some uh, they do it for the girls. That's that's one of the big the big answers. The girls, you know. I mean, if you can't get girls on your own, you're not gonna get girls if you're a gang member. To be honest with you, you know, but uh. Or, or they do it because uh, you know they feel like they're a part of something or something like that. And, and for me, I just I, I just I wanted a gangbang. To be honest with you, you know. What, what kind of stuff are you guys getting into? Well, I mean, we're 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 a typical Mexican gang. So you got your, your, your you know you got your car thieves, you got your, your robberies, you got your uh, got your shooters, your drug dealers, you know. And um, so we, you, you we got everything. Mm -hmm. I mean. You know, the list goes down. Yeah, how old are you? Uh, I'm 34. 34. So the drive-by era, were you around for that? I was around for the end of it. 
the end of it. So I have, I, I, I witnessed the, um, I was able to witness it. Um, and it was ugly, you know, uh, it, 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 um, it was a lot of innocent people that got hurt during that time. And, and it was, it's, it's uncalled for, you know, I'm all for what we do. I'm all for if something happens to me, I know what I signed up for, you know, but, uh, for a kid to get hit or for a, a grandmother or grandfather or something like that, that's, that's, that's out of line, you yeah. know? Are you, are you the only, only person in your family to join a gang? Yeah. Yeah. I got, uh, my, my, thankfully my, my, my brothers didn't follow my, my footsteps and, uh, and um, my, my dad wasn't involved. My dad's. What did your family think of it? <laughs> I mean, I, it, was, it, was, it was a little hard, you know. Um, Mom and dad would go look for me every night, you know. I would sneak out the window and, and, and run with my homeboys and, and, and hide out. And, and sure enough, 9, 10 o'clock, you know, here comes mom, here comes dad, <laughs> knocking on doors. Where's he at? Where's he at? Until they grab me by the ear and take me back. As soon as they go to sleep, out the window again, you know. But um, it was hard, man. It was it was real hard. It got to the point where you know, obviously, as as time went along, uh, you know, and crimes went along with it. You know, I started bringing pistols home. So you know, mom would search my room and she start finding them, and I, you know, obviously, she would take them. Get rid of them. Honestly, to this day, I don't know what she did with those guns. Um, and it was a few of them. But it got to the point where she just got tired of finding them, you know? And then not only that, but I, a lot of my homeboys started just, she kept seeing the t-shirts the with the faces on it, you know? And I think she didn't want to see my face on any of them. So it got to the point where she didn't throw the guns away. She would take the bullets out and, and tell me, just get rid, you know? Don't let your brothers find it. And, 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 and I'm not saying that she condoned it. In no way, shape, or form does my mother ever condone anything like that. But I think she just loved me so much that she she didn't want anything to happen to me, you know. And um, what what is it that that draws a young man to this lifestyle? It's it's a lot of things. I mean, like I said, for me, it was it was a little bit different. Than, I know, I know. Like you said, most they, most guys are just looking for a family, and and that becomes their new family. Th yeah, that's that's. But, but there's there's something about the. <clears throat> Well, it's almost like a rite of manhood for it, it's well, yeah, it's like, yeah, rite of passage almost, you know, like, uh, I mean, from, you know, back in time, you got, you know, from from the tribes and, and things exactly, like that. Exactly, yeah. It's always been, uh, uh, um, you know, as you as you as, especially the males, you know, as you grow, you, you have to, you kind of go through those steps and 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 um, it's a tribe. Yeah, it's, it's so it's basically the same thing. You know, back then they were they were obviously they would fight for territory, you know, the to expand and things like that. And we're basically doing the same thing. You know, uh, um, you know, maybe some people might take it a little uh, further than that. And, 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 and um, you know, when, when you bring in the drug dealing and all that, but for the most part, that's, you know, we're always fighting for territory and we're always trying to expand. We're always trying to recruit, mm -hmm. you know, and we're trying to recruit the best of the best. We don't want no, obviously we don't want no, uh, you know, guys that ain't going to participate, if that's what, how you want to call it. How many years have you done in prison? Well, I, I, I mean, uh, I went in, I caught my first term at uh, the age of 15. Um, I caught a, a, it was attempted murder and got dropped down to a, a, plea, a plea bargain for a assault with a firearm. Gang injunction is what really screwed me. Um, but I caught 15 years for that case. At 15, and then um, during my prison stretch, I, I caught two more years on top of that, so I ended up doing 17 flat. For things you did in prison? Um, again, the list goes on. You know, I um, well, you know, because you know, the gang life in prison is it, it's 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 a lot different, a lot different, a lot more uh, structured, a lot more unified, um, which is which is ironic because, you know. You, you have, you know, us growing up out here going against each other all the time, you know, uh, Mexican against Mexican or against black or whatnot. And, um, you know, you get to the, you know, to, to you, you, you progress until you get to the county jail and it's prison and, and the same guy you shot at, same guy you're having dinner with, you know, or, or the same guy that's going to have your back if something happens with, it's more racial in there, you know, so... 
it's it's when you when you first land in, into prison, it, it's it's um it's a little hard to kind of get used to because you're you're used to you're, you're programmed to you see a certain tattoo or you see a certain and not your 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 program. You know you wanna you wanna go ahead and attack or you wanna you know you wanna start dissing them or or whatnot. And um so you know a, you you get chewed out a couple of times because obviously you slip up or, one, or you you let it get to you. Sometimes they'll pick on you if they're older. They'll pick on the, the kids just to see to test them. Um, but honestly, if 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 I could choose either or, as far as like, would I rather gang bang on the streets or would I do the prison gang? Um, I was forced to grow up a lot faster. Especially in prison, I went in young, and I was—I was—I mean, I had no choice. I was in the big leagues now, so it, um, there was no excuse. You know, I, I couldn't say I didn't know. I couldn't say, uh, um, you know, I'm sorry, or or I'll take it back, or you know, I'll do better next time. It wasn't all that. In there, you mess up. It's it's uh, there's 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 risks. There's uh, you know, there's there's con the consequences. So. You have to pick it up very quickly. Um, but honestly, I, I, I learned a lot also. I, I, uh, if I didn't go through all that, I, I wouldn't be, become, you know, be the man that I am now. And uh, in no way, shape, or form am I a, a good man. I don't, I, I, I don't believe that. Um, you're, you're still I active. still have my flaws. You're, you're still active? I'm game. an active gang member still. Um, and... and uh, I'm not as as reckless as I was as I was when, I, when I was younger. By all means, I'm not. I'm not that. That you know, um, you know I, I got kids. You know, uh, and uh, but I am still. You know, you you show up to the city and you ask. You know, hey, you guys, they'll point you automatically. They'll point you in the right direction. It doesn't matter where in the city you stop. They'll know where to point you. You know, and, and to get to that point to where I don't need it let people know where I'm from or who I am anymore is where any gang member wants to get, you know? And um, I can say I'm fortunate enough to have gotten that. Some people might look at it as this. That's not something to be proud of. I beg to differ, you know? Um, to come out after all that time and just try to change my life at this point would, would be... Um, in, in my eyes, would be a complete waste of 17 years, you know? I, I chose this path, I chose this career, basically, so I, I'm, I'm gonna see it through, basically. You, you feel like you've built something you don't wanna give up on. Exactly, you know, and and, and, um, and I know it's gonna lead, where it's gonna lead, you know, or what the possibilities of where it can lead to. You, you think you'll be back in prison again? I, well, I've been back, you know, I, I, I went back, yeah, I, I went back, uh, um, Recently, I went back in, in um, well, I paroled in 2017 after the, the first stretch. And then uh, in 2018, the ending of 2018, I went back for a, a year flat for a pistol case. And, um, and, you, and the thing is that, do I think I'm gonna go back? Uh, I mean, I hope not, but uh, yeah, I mean, chances are I, I, I am. You're doing things that might get you back. Yeah, you know. I'm, of course. However, do I want to go back? Absolutely not, because you know. <laughs> You'd rather be free. It, well, it's not. The, it's not. You know. Here's the thing: is that there's been times where it, it, it's it, it's been hard out here. Sometimes I'm not gonna lie. You know, um, trying to cope after all that time. It's been a little bit difficult. You know, and um, that's all I've known. I've, I've, I grew up in there. You know. My whole youth, my teens, my, my early 20s, my prime years, I did in prison. All I know is prison. You know, you throw me on any yard and I'll program like that. You know, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I can, I can, I have, uh, you know, peripheral vision of everything that's going on in the yard. I, I'm, I'm, I'm savvy to it, you know. But out here, I get overwhelmed. I get, uh, I get uh, almost um, sh like shocked. You know, uh, um, the crowds, I can't do crowds. I can't do big buildings still. Um, because I did a lot of, uh, most of my prison time I did in the shoe, you know, mm. I did. Uh, 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 so you're isolated. I did, I did, I, I did 11 years isolated in there. 
And um, a lot of people won't admit it, but that place really screws you up, man. It really does. And uh, I didn't know that until getting out, you know. I realized how, what, what that place really did to us, you know. Because in there, we, 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 we um, how can you say it, we, uh, we adjust, you know, to our surroundings. So you've been, you've been on the streets free for how long now? Uh, I've been out since uh, for uh, going almost close to, to four years, I, I believe. With given with a couple of violations in and out of the county jail, mm-hmm. you know, uh, three months here, uh, ten day flashes, whatnot. Yeah. But um, yeah, for you know, three years, something like that. And um, but um, I still haven't done anything. You know, it's it's like uh, there's still so much I want. You know, in there, you you, you think, well, I want to do this when I get out. I want to do this when I get out. Like what? Uh, you know, for me, it was it was just getting out there, traveling. You know, I wanted to. I, 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 I always thought that I, I would go out and see, I'm not going to say the world, you know, because, I mean, it's a little far-fetched. Have you, have you left California? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've been uh, uh, Nebraska, Mississippi, uh, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, you know, Oregon. But uh, I would love to see New York, you know. Yeah. But, but let's, let's say you grew up in Wisconsin, for example. Your life would have been very different than Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the, uh, the surrounding, California is, is, is just... It's just so much different, man. It's it's it's. I mean, you, you, you're. I mean, you're from Chicago, right? I'm from Chicago, yeah. yeah. Well, Chicago's actually pretty active. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, that's, that's, why yeah. I didn't, that's why I didn't say so, Chicago. So yeah, we're not we're not gonna go use that as an that's example. That's why I didn't say but, Chicago. But, like, but if you, uh, we'll go Wisconsin. You know, it, it's just um like for example, I went to Nebraska. You know, Nebraska. Uh, yeah. When I went to Nebraska, as soon as they found out I was from California, forget it. I mean, they were just all over. You know, like it, it's just the lifestyle. It, it, it people people um. They want to know what it's about. They want to know, you know, yeah, like, it gets, like, it like gets with, glorified. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, like the gang, like the gang lifestyle, for instance. And you know, I, I don't know how 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 uh, hip you are to it, but Japan has a big gang um, style going on right now. Real big. The lowrider scene. Uh, um, you go to Japan right now, you'll see you'll see a neighborhood full of you. You would think there's a bunch of Mexicans out there, gang bang. You know, it's just. It, Something about our style just it it it, it, it captures people's attention. It no, captures it's a, it's people's a, interest. It's an interesting cultural phenomenon, you know. And and um, and they're so late, like they're barely catching up. Like they're still dressing like we were dressing back in the eighties, you know, with the khakis and, and all that. I mean, don't get me. I still dress that way. I'm just I'm stuck still there, you know. In my mind, I'm still I still think I'm fifteen, you know, because uh, time stopped for me, you know, uh, once once I went in. Um, so it, it's just, uh, like I said, it, it's, it's, it's a lifestyle that, you know, uh, given it, it's, it's not for everyone. It's not, um, you know, a lot of people get hurt. I've lost a lot of homeboys. I've gotten hurt myself, you know, fortunately I've never been shot or anything like that, but I've been shot at, you know, and, and for anyone that hasn't been through that, I mean, it's not, it's not a, it's not something you forget. And you know? you've done, you've done some shooting, I assume? Uh, you, you've you've done some shooting as well. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm uh, to say I haven't. I, I mean, are, I'd be are, lying, are, you know. Are, are there any things that you regret? Um, that you've done? No, I really don't. I mean, everyone that's I've never I've never done anything to where anybody that's not part of this lifestyle has gotten hurt. So, with that said, everyone knows what they signed up for. I know that at any point I can get shot by another gang member, so they should know the same. You know. So no, of course I don't regret anything I've done. I mean, maybe, maybe I mean, you know, maybe signing the deal I signed to go to prison. I regret that. <laughs> I think it was a screwed up deal, but um, I accept my con. You know, my, I, I I take responsibility for my my actions. So. Yeah. And your, how much time have you spent with your kids? Done. Done. I went in. When I went in, I I, I when I went in, I didn't know she was my, my at the time. The, the girl I was, I was uh, dating and she uh, was pregnant until six months into my sentence. She had gone to my mom's house and, and, and t- to tell her, like, this is your grand, you know? So my mom went to visit me in juvenile hall and told him, just gave me the sonogram and said, there you go. I, I, I didn't believe it. I was like, it can't, you know? But sure enough, the moment she was born, mini me, you know, it was me. 
there's no point in taking a test or anything. It's, 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 it's my daughter. And uh, so I, I got to see her for the first maybe year of her life to where my, she would go take her to see me in prison. By then I had already hit, you know, the prison mainline. She would go visit me for the first year. And then unfortunately I caught my, my shoot term. So I got validated, which is basically they, they, the prison gang, uh, uh, the prison gang uh, uh, officers or whatnot, um, they do their uh, they do their investigation and they, whether what, what they their findings they they'll um, validate you which is basically for your gang ties or your prison gang ties which is completely different to your street gang ties. Um, in my case, it was um, you know uh, for the Mexican mafia, you know, and um, now it's all allegedly, but I did get you know convicted per se of it and and it's and I, I did get validated so that's how i got sent to the to to isolation into the shoe mm. for the you know for the next 11 years but um um it, it it's just uh when i caught that visiting is completely different from general population obviously general population you get to contact you get to spend you know six plus hours with your family and and, and eat with them and interact with them and hold your daughter and all that. Lovely. I mean, com compared to in the shoe where it's behind glass and it's for an hour. And that, and that you're lucky if and, you get that. And that was all because you were connected with the most notorious and, and, gang in the world? And, and basically because of, 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 of the, the threat that I posed to the institution, um, because of those ties, um, I, I lost not only, you know, my, the little freedom that I do get, in general population, but you know, I lost my my privilege to see to hold my daughter, see my daughter grow up because now I, I you know, unfortunately none of the shoes are, are anywhere down south where I'm from. They're all up northern you know California, which is 18 hour drives and all that. And my family, there's no way they can make that. So unfortunately, I didn't get to see my daughter again till I paroled since she was 17 by then. Mm. So. 16 year gap. The Mexican mafia seems to be getting stronger and stronger as time goes on, right? I mean, it's been around for a long time, you know. Yeah, but unlike the mafia, which is fading away, it seems. Well, it's, it's, it's. The Mexican, the, the Italian mafia. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's, uh, well, it had mafia. a long run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, it had they're, a very long run. They're, bo they're both very notor notorious, but, um, but the yeah, Mexican mafia just seems but so. It's, well, it, you know what it is, it's, it's um, they're very influential, you know, and, um, for a young man, fresh in, glorified, you know, lifestyle, and that—that's what we look up to. That's what we uh, aspire to. Insp exactly. So, of course, they're gonna. Of course, they're gonna gravitate towards that. You know, what can I do for you, or anything like that, and um, thus it grows. Yeah, it isn't something you run away from. It's something you you dream about. You know, when I when I finally hit, you know, I, I went I went through the shoot process. So I went to Hatchby, Corcoran. When I hit, you know, Pelican Bay, I was fortunate enough, you know, and, and, and as 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 uh, uh, you know, weird as that sounds for someone to say fortunate enough to, to land anywhere like that, I happened to land in the short corridor of, of Pelican Bay, which is uh, where they're all housed, and um, so I got to know, you know. I was where, where, where any gang around wants to be. You know, I was in college now. And, uh, the big leagues. Oh, yeah. You know, and um, uh, I got to meet some very interesting people. Not only my, my uh, uh, elders, per se, you know, the Northerners, the, the, the Aryans, you know, uh, the Blacks, you know, and... Um, very intelligent man, extremely intelligent. Um, I think you're talking to lawyers, you know, businessmen. Never think you're talking to a gang member. Uh, it'll completely fool anybody, you know. And um, how could you not want to be a part of that, you know? How could you not want to um, have that respect, you know, that um, the power. You know, so uh, 
if if you if you get involved into this lifestyle and you're really really involved or you're really serious about it that's what you want to get to that's where you want to go that's who you want to meet that's what you want to be now whether you're going to be or that or not is you know only time can tell and that's really up to the person you know um but yeah, I mean to answer your question, yeah, they they are uh, they are grown, <laughs> and there, I'm I'm pretty sure they'll continue to grow. Yeah, is there, is there any getting out of the gang once once you're in? As, which as far as the street gang? Yeah, street gang. Um, yeah, in a box. <laughs> I mean, I'm mean, gonna lie to you, you know, it, it's uh, yeah, yeah, that's the same goes. It's blood in, blood out, you know. I mean, they're not just gonna let you, you know, go ahead, be on your way. No, you know too much, you know, you, you how can you sit there and build a, a trust, a, a, build a bond with us and then just want to, no, that's disrespectful. That's uh, slapping our face. We invested time in you. How can you just walk away? It's not going to happen, you know. I mean, at least I've never. Had is, is the integrity of the gang members today as... As strong as you, as it once was, I mean, absolutely like, not. Yeah, it no, seems like a lot of guys are informed. It's now. it's it's so washed down now, you know. And don't get me wrong, you still got your you know some of these kids out here are knuckleheads. You know, you put a pistol in their hand, they're shooting 100, 150 rounds in, into you know probably hitting nothing, but they don't hesitate. You know, these kids are are. Um, it was a lot harder to get guns back then than it is now. Or, or the quality of guns. You know, back then we had a, 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 you know, you'd be lucky to get anything with a clip in it, you know. Now you got drums and all kinds of, the kids running around with, you know, skinny jeans and big old rifles, you know. And, uh, it's, but it's, but it is, how can I say, it? the respect's not there no more. The, the loyalty, you know. And a lot of that has to do with the family, the family bonds. You know, a lot of, a lot of these older neighborhoods, were family based cousins brothers uh, nephews whatnot so or friends of friends you know so in 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 one way shape or form we grew up with each other we know each other we know their parents we know their girlfriends we know their kids we know uh everything about them where they sleep where they go to school where they shit you know uh, so it's, it was a lot harder for people back, or us back then, to turn on one another than it is now to where you got outsiders coming in who, who we've never even, like, where did this guy come from? But he's claiming our city, and they allow him in, and I, something happens, he's the first one to point fingers, you know? Like, of course he's gonna point fingers, he, he has no ties to us, he has no, he didn't grow up with us, so he doesn't care, you know? So in that, you know, in that aspect of it, it's, it's not the same, you know, it's not, uh, it's nowhere near the same than it was back then. You know, uh, everything just, even, even dealing with, 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 with law enforcement, you know, there was a respect back then, you know, they knew what we were doing and we knew that they had a job to do. So, we weren't going to disrespect them because they put the, the you know the cuffs on us. We know what we're doing. We know what the consequences are. Um, but now you got you know so, so I get I get officers that that'll pull me over and and, and they they they've known me throughout the years you know, uh, so they know what I'm out there doing as well, and uh, they'll pull me over and they'll call me by name you know they'll be like a hey, suspect you know, uh, uh, these these kids man these, you got to you know talk to these kids man because they're disrespectful you know. They, 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 they're like, I talk a lot of shit. And so I have to go in and, and, and not because not, I'm not doing it to favor the, the law enforcement. You know, there's still that there. Um, I'm doing it because it's, it's something bigger. You know, there's no need to disrespect these men for doing their job. I don't believe um, I've never done it. And because of that, they don't hassle me like that or they don't uh, they don't pick on me when you know so and that's the speech i would give to these kids it's like you look you you get you get you get rolled up on by these 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 cops what every day you know through sometimes three four times a day 
Why? Because you talk a lot of shit, you know? You want them to stop? Then you shut your mouth. There's no point, you know? You call them a bitch, then you jump the wall and run. I mean, what's that going to get you? If you're going to call them a bitch, at least stand there and let them pull up. Then tell them to take off their badge and let's see how they do it. I guarantee you 80% of the time they'll take off that badge. You know, I've seen it. They've done it before. You know, and, and, uh, and you'll learn it. Then do some training for a reason because they'll whip your ass. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the respect's not there, man. It really isn't. And, uh, and I wish it was because it would make me, you know, it, it's, not, it's not deterring me from, from being involved still. That's not going to change, you know. I am who I am. You know, I'm proud of it. Um, I'm not going anywhere, you know. Um, However, you know, it does kind of make me, you know, kind of sigh, you know, and, and whatnot, you know, like kind of you know, like feel bad about what it's what it's become, you know. Before I, I remember, I, I would I would die to just be in my our park in our neighborhood, you know. I would do anything. The first chance I got, I would just skate just to go and hang out at our park with all our homeboys, you know. Cause that's just what we did. We that that was that was it was fun. It was uh, it was our after school activity. It was our our, our, our uh, it was our, our everything, you know. And now I, I pass by our park and I just, sometimes I don't even glance at it because it's it's just not the same, you know. To catch maybe two three of us out there now compared to back then when you would pass by and you catch thirty five of us out there, it's a big big difference. It's a big gap, you know. It was a lot easier for us to get shot, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you got a big crowd. Of course, That's you're going right. to hit somebody, <laughs> you know? But um, it's, it's, um, it's a lot different, man. A lot different. Bobby, what would you say is the most important thing you've learned in your life? How to be loyal. Loyalty. To me, loyalty is so big, man. And, and, and it was a, a big lesson in prison. And it's been a big lesson coming home. And I'm not saying loyal to the gang or anything like that. I'm just saying loyalty, and, 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 you know, for what it is, you know, to, to anyone, you know. For example, if you give me a hand, you know, that shows me a lot, especially if you don't know each other. You gain loyalty or trust, you know. Um, the little things, the little things that count, you know. And loyalty is just so big and it's, such a loss thing now, you know. It's loyalty. All right. Bobby, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you, Mark. Very interesting. Thank you. Nice to speak with a intelligent I appreciate that. Gang member, you know. I appreciate somebody that. who's have these deep thoughts about it. Appreciate it. Thank you, man.